Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon and today I'm bringing you a card game in this board and card game series. You'll find this also in a playlist as well. And um, just to let you know, this is called Sergeant Major. You can find this on Board Game Arena. And what this game is about is a trick taking game in the Whist family. And the aim of the game is ultimately to try and win 12 tricks. So what I'm gonna do is just remove four cards. I mean, I did kind of shuffle these cards first, not that it matters too much. And it's only for three players. You're gonna be dealing out uh, 16 cards each, so that's the entire deck in the 62 card deck. I need four off to the one side. Now, whilst I'm doing this, please hit that like button to show me in YouTube that you're enjoying the content. Also, please uh, hit the subscribe button to show me that uh, yeah, you want to see more good stuff, the lots more on its way, and hit the notification bell, of course, to be notified. Equally, check out and chuck in a comment. I do reply very quickly. And finally, hit that description and see anything else that I've added, which may of course be relevant as I update my views on this game. So, uh, like I said, this is gonna be in a card game playlist. And uh, this is kind of Wist Legacy. So I said it's just with three players. It's got no multiple names. Uh, this one I'm gonna show you is gonna be called the British version or the Indian or the Near East version, and it's known as five, um, sorry, 853, or it could be known in the Canadian version as 952. So the object of the game is to win as many tricks as possible, and what we're trying to do is try to win 12 or more tricks in one hand. Now, just to let you know, that means this could take quite a while. It could take around 60 minutes, and it can go on. Very popular in the British Air Force, uh, at least a long time ago, because I think the time it can sort of kill doing such things. So the first thing is shows at random, let's just say it's this person here, and what they're trying to do is win eight tricks. And it's basically gonna be bidding and um, it has a nice catch-up mechanism. So again, you're trying to win these things, there's 16 cards in total, and yes, yeah, so what you're trying to be doing first is those last four undealt cards are placed over here, they're called the kitty, and the dealer is gonna name a suit as uh, whatever they want it to be. So they can name it as trumps, and they're gonna say, okay, so for this trump suit, we call it club, spades, hearts, or diamonds, whatever you wanna be. You can't say no trump, that's not allowed. And you're gonna discard any four cards face down and take the four um, undealt cards from the deck in the place. Apologies, I've ended up shuffling in some jokers so just from a different video. So I don't know what they're gonna do. Let's say they pick, um, yeah, let's say clubs, baby. So they're gonna get rid of four clubs, so get rid of that one. Let's just get rid of these cards. And then they're gonna pick these four cards up. And now they've got those cards. So let's kind of leave them kind of visible for time being. So they're gonna name a suit, as I said, they've done that. Uh, they've now picked that thing up. The players of these left, of course, what they're trying to do now is they're gonna lead with any card to try and win that first trick. So you're gonna try and win it. They've named clubs, so they're gonna go, just play through. Again, apologies for that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then it doesn't make too much difference. You can see what I'm gonna try and be doing here. And again, apologies for this one shot, trying to bring it to you as soon as possible. And again, whilst keeping an accuracy as much as I can. So they have lots of clubs, so they're gonna try and win that club card. Um, now the dealer knows what they're trying to win. You know, the way I like to play these kind of games is play a middle value card. Just gonna see who's playing what card to try and win it. So they're trying to now play maybe the ace of clubs. Of course, the dealer's gonna know what's in here. And they've got the king, so if they don't play an ace, they can play the king. And let's say what they do. So in this case, they they do it and they win it. So let's come back on to why they might want to win this trick. So in this instance, um, they've just uh, taken their first turn, of course. And of course, they're not gonna try and uh, lose their king early on. And what you're trying to do is you must follow suit if you can, just like in Whist. And if you're not able to, uh, you can either play the trump or you can choose to not play a trump card if you don't wish to. And again, you're trying to play, of course, if you play the trump card, you'd win that trick. So in this instance, what we tend to do is if you win one trick, you do something like that. And then if you win a second trick, it'll be the equivalent of something like that, just to keep track of actually how many cards you're playing with. Now, uh, let's talk about scoring and basically the targets for what you're trying to be doing. So um, what we're gonna do next is whoever actually won that last trick, whoever led is they're gonna go next to um, start off that next trick. And, yeah, and, the, and the dealer changes as well, or at the end of uh, all those cards being played. So the target, so each player is gonna have a target, this dealer is gonna have eight. The reason why they're trying to get eight, of course, of those 16 cards, is because they know a little bit more by these uh, four kitty cards. If you're to the dealer's left, 
you're trying to be getting five. Your target is to get five tricks. And if your study is right, you're trying to get three tricks. So again, this early doors, they've done quite well. Now, if a player wins more tricks and than the target, they're said to be up the number of tricks and excess of that target. And any player who fails to reach the target is down by the number of tricks. As I said, it's a very good balancing act. Now, this is a very pure strategy game. It sounds like very luck early on, but you'll see what I mean. So now what you need to be doing is if you're down, you need to pay one stake per trick short of the target, the people who are up one stake. So if you're down, this person didn't manage to get eight, they're gonna pay um, one card to the person who was over. Now, in terms of how that then works, you're then gonna deal and exchange, and obviously the second and subsequent hands, the turner, as I said, the, the dealer's changing, it's moved on again. And in this instance, the new dealer is a person to again lead that first trick of that first hand. So um, whoever won before, they're gonna start off there. And in this instance, uh, you must again try to return the highest card, the same suit. And again, the same thing follows. If just one card was up, then that person, of course, gives each card to the other players as many unwanted cards as they had under tricks. So the further you're under, the more cards you're gonna to have to give away. And what could happen is you could try and try and win worst case scenario with only three tricks. So um, again, if two people are up, then they're both going to one person. If two people are down, obviously vice versa, you could end up doing that as well. And again, gonna keep going round and round and round until eventually you're trying to get all of those tricks. You're trying to get 12, 12 of those 16 cards to win in that particular round. So that's how the game ends. When a player succeeds in winning 12 or more tricks in one hand, thereby they've won the game. Now, I said this is the 853 version, 853. There's another version which is 952, as I said, the Canadian version. And just to hopefully explain that a little more clearly about how that works, um, we're saying that obviously the second turn onwards, the turn dealer, so the person who was here, is now over here. And uh, again, we've changed who's going to be targeting what. So now they're trying to um, gain eight tricks. They're trying to be getting five. They're trying to be getting three. So be aware of that for each uh, subsequent round. Separately to that, again, if you've won more tricks, you're up the number of tricks. So that's a good thing. You want to be higher than you were before. And of course, if you're below it, then be aware that you know, you're having to have that disadvantage of where those cards are. Now, again, remember as the turn um, rotates as well, uh, just be aware of what cards you're trying to work with, you're trying to win three cards, etc. And hopefully, you know, you're trying to obviously trying to get your 12 cards. There's no real strategy, like I said, I find it with whist kind of games, the trick taking games, playing a middling card if you're leading off, because unless you have the highest value, you're not sure um, how many of those cards people still have that suit. Of course, if you have of the relevant trick uh, for the trump, that's fantastic. So if you've got loads of clubs and you've got clubs, then fantastic. And if you happen to have an ace of a certain suit, you might want to play it early to ensure that somebody doesn't have one um, of that suit and therefore cannot trump it. Um, or they've only got low values. And if you play an ace and they play a king, you know that uh, they haven't probably got many cards left because they're trying to win as many tricks as possible. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Crucially, it's 853. And again, to do with the exchange, please be aware that, uh, yeah, how over tricks and under tricks work. Again, board game arenas are nicely set up to show you exactly how those under tricks work and automating that play. If you have any questions, if you want me to do a playthrough or run through, I'll see if I can arrange that. And again, it's just for three players. And again, it can go on some time as there's no kind of like depletion of cards. I think if they reduce the amount of cards they're trying to get each turn, that would, would be much better. But this is a public domain game. And again, that's the kind of thing that can happen with the, the rules and uh, not choosing to house rule things. But um, yeah, if you were up on the previous hand, remember, you're giving away one unwanted card per over trick to a player who was down. That player must return um, the highest card held of the same suit. So uh, let's say this person was up. So they're gonna give this card to this person here. And then what they're gonna be doing is they're going the highest card of the same suit. So they gave in a five, they've got to give away that king. Okay, so remember, again, cards have been played out but that has just occurred, so please be aware of that. And again, that's happened at the end of that round. So again, having that all played out, so you're gonna have a fresh hand and then seeing what happens there. And again, they know a little bit more about what they've given across. So hopefully it all makes sense. Again, um, hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much. All the best, bye for now.